You are a witch? I am indeed. Mm. The witchiest witch. Do you know what makes me special? I'm a queer. Woo! And I'm a witch! Um, but I've always been like very much like an earth witch. I've yeah. always felt mo the most grounded in nature. Real witches do real things. In fact, it's interesting when you look at Swift's 2020 music video for her song Willow, which is used, by the way, in a number of witchcraft spells. In today's world, it's easy to get caught up in the allure of celebrities. They seem larger than life with their glamorous lifestyles, fame, and influence. However, there is a growing concern about the hidden practices some celebrities may engage in, including occultic activities. The entertainment industry and modern spirituality are promoting witchcraft and demonic themes, and we should be careful when we put our trust in celebrities so much forgetting that a lot of them are into witchcraft, occultism, and all sorts of demonic practices. The Bible warns us against idolizing anything or anyone other than God. When we put celebrities on a pedestal, we risk making them idols, which can lead us away from our faith and values. Exodus 23 reminds us, you shall have no other gods before me. Associating with or following celebrities who dabble in the occult can open doors to spiritual compromise. It can blur the lines between what is holy and what is profane, weakening our spiritual discernment. Some celebrities may use their platforms to promote or normalize occultic practices, either directly or indirectly. This can desensitize people to the dangers of these practices, making them seem harmless or even attractive. I am going to be showing you clips of so many of your favorite celebrities who have admitted practicing witchcraft. Make sure to watch the very end. I would be right back and we can talk about this. Music video for her song Willow, which is used, by the way, in a number of witchcraft spells. Uh, Swift herself had admitted that Willow, quote, sounds like casting a spell to make someone fall in love with you, end quote. And it's interesting that in Taylor Swift's dancing witch version of, of Willow, uh, that it shows her as part of a witch's coven. And it shows her going out with other witches to perform occult rituals. And when she gets there to, you know, where the coven is actually casting their spells and so forth, there's these orbs, these con it's like they're conjuring spirits and these orbs are like coming out of the, the pits of hell or whatever. And it's interesting because in her reference to her Lonely Witch remix of Willow, uh, she posts herself uh, with the caption, quote, Witches be like, sometimes I just want to listen to music while pining away, sulking, staring out a window. It's me. I'm witches. End quote. And Swift's Moonlit Witch remix, uh, she uh, posted the words, quote, Ever find yourself waiting for the signal and meeting someone after dark and happening upon a majestic coven in the woods? Then she goes on to say, Me neither, but do you want to, your music to make you feel like that? Uh, then the Willow Moonlit Witch version is for you. Another person who is a rapper who once unashamedly came out as a witch is this lady called Azalea Banks. Listen to this. Look, I mentioned the testimony of Azalea Banks, and she also went viral on Instagram a few years ago when she posted a little clip of her closet in which she said she used to perform rituals, and there was dried there was all kinds of feathers, for, I guess, from the chicken sacrifices that she would do in her closet. And at the end of the video, she ended it by saying, real witches do real things. And I was crying, too. The role of astrology in your life has meaning, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, even tarot cards. When I yeah, went to the studio, yeah, yeah. you gave me a reading. You've been doing readings on set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you look to astrology for? Is it understanding of what you're going through? Is it... An understanding of what will be? Yeah, I think it's kind of a a tool to help us hear what we need to hear sometimes and kind of look forward with hope and awareness and also <laughs> reads us fulfilled sometimes. <laughs> sometimes we need to hear it and just looking to something bigger than us to kind of help us make sense of it. Does that make sense? Totally. The amount of crap that's about to come off my floor right now, guys. Oh my God. Three years worth of brujeria. Real witches. What does brujeria mean? You know what it means. Witchcraft. Um, there are lots of scientific research websites where you can actually buy human skulls like this one. You've got one there? You're show us one. God, yeah. you've got a skull there. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> That's amazing. I got it from thebonroom.com, and this is actually the skull of 
a six-year-old girl who died. If you go to the... A certain article covering this Azealia Banks story was suggesting she might be having some form of mental illness and she need to seek for help. Sometimes what I find annoying is that some people still think people who practice this kind of rituals have mental illness. Honestly, I'm not trying to downplay the effects of mental illness in our society today. But the real truth is that most of these people practicing these rituals don't have mental illness. They are just into witchcraft or into the occult. Sometimes they are fully aware of what they are doing and are actually dealing with real demons living inside of them, making them exhibit some of the behaviors you see them do. The world we live in now has been so desensitized to issues like this that people think that people who have demons living inside them have mental sickness. Oh no, it's not mental sickness. They are dealing with demons and they need deliverance. Therefore, Azalea Banks is into witchcraft and it is messy. Because close friend, Crowley and Satanist Marina Abramovich, was catapulted to infamy as hey, one we of the subjects of the most bizarre of the WikiLeak revelations. Abramovich, quite like Gaga, likes to dress up like a witch and to adorn herself with goat's heads and devil horns and all sorts of satanic symbolism. Gaga's close friend Abramovich said, quote, My mother dressed me as a devil when I was four years old for a party. I have no idea why she dressed me as a devil. I think to mark my life. End quote. The gross practices she's involved with is what she calls spirit cooking. This is what she recorded herself doing in the past. The satanic spirit cooking ritual is better known as the cake of light ritual among Crowley and Satanists, and is like a blasphemous satanic sacrament practiced by Crowley's OTO members that mocks Jesus' last supper of partaking of unleavened bread in remembrance of Jesus' love and death for the sins of the world to deliver them from hell. Crowleyan symbols like the triangle and the number of the Antichrist 666 all of this is quite revealing as to what many of these people in the higher echelons of politics and the entertainment world are all about. We also see here that Abramovich appears to really love the number of the beast as her Twitter handle is AbramovichM666. Here is Jay-Z with her. Gaga has spent much time praising the satanic spirit cooker Abramovich, even claiming her influence on her life. Marina, I think you are so wonderful, so beautiful and inspiring. And, and as a woman, I am want to translate what her work means into my own life on a, on a domestic level. I am obsessed with this woman. She is so incredible. People hear the word witchcraft. They think of like this scary, like yeah. I have a big hat. We meet at midnight under the moon and like gather in a coven with salt around us. Like yeah. witchcraft. It's like I said, literally on the Uber screen, pick your Zodiac sign. That's witchcraft. Yeah. Witchcraft is, is, is yoga even. I mean, we can talk yeah. about that later if you want, but it's. Please. And that's kind of where what my edge was. It was never I would have never called myself a witch then with all the mm. stuff that I was doing. I would have just called myself a spiritualist. I was that girl where it's like, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I thought that yeah. was like a cool thing to say. Yeah. Um, but you can't mix the two. It's oil and water. And right. It's it's. it's it's two kingdoms trying to make a kingdom of neutrality, which doesn't exist. It's the kingdom of light or the kingdom of dark. And if it's not of the kingdom of light. I'm always saying, like, by process of elimination, if it's not the Holy Spirit, then what is it? There's also this pantheon of goddesses that she's affiliated with. Like, for example, goddesses of Mami Wata, which is an African goddess, then Ashun, that's another goddess, Yoruba, goddess of beauty, love, and music, who rules over sweet waters, Kali, which is a Hindu goddess, and then we go into Venus, which is a Roman goddess of romantic love and beauty, and then she's mixing Virgin Mary. What does Virgin Mary have to do with anything of this stuff? Oh, look closely at what crosses the screen. Did you see that? Did you see? Bring it back. Bring it back. Look at this. Satan. Pause it. Pause it. Satan. If it get, look. This is the weekend's concert, ladies and gentlemen. No, I know I may be studied everything there was to know about tarot cards, card reading, everything to know about astral projection, Tibetan Book of the Dead, Buddhism, anything there was to know about spirit guides. And what I would do is I would astral project out of the body, enabling spirits to come in. Because in witchcraft, I believe that if I could get my own spirit, I, I could be empowered by bringing spirit guides in. Now understand, I was of the mind that these spirits that were coming in, spirit guides, were nice. 
spirits that had, were people that had passed away throughout the centuries. The, but what would happen with me is I would begin to gargle these voices almost demonically. They would come out in a demonic sound. And so now here I was so interested in witchcraft. Here I was in Buddhism, reincarnation, planning to kill myself so that I could, I could go back. In, reincarnation means reincarnate means enter back into life. So I became very, very studious about astrology, witchcraft, card reading, and that card reading became my niche. Sid, I would walk into a room with a deck of cards and read everybody's mail just by that deck of cards. And I thought I was the best thing since the McDonald's hamburger. I thought I had c finally come to a mm -hmm. place of prominence because I couldn't. The trouble is, when you play with the devil, he doesn't play fair. He'll give you everything you want, all the drugs you want, all the women you want, all the promises and all the power you want. And when he's done with you, he'll kick the legs out from under you. Within an instant, within an instant, and I have medical reports, in a moment of a prayer of 1,800 strangers who didn't know my first name, the church stood forth, the blood-bought church began to sing the blood of Jesus. And in a moment, when they began to call on the name that people curse, the name of power and ability, my liver was healed, my stomach was healed, my mind was restored, and I left that church, and said, never to be the same. From that time, the day I left that church, a process of healing began. What about drugs? I was instantly delivered. I had, it said, no cold turkey. That means to come off a drug. None of that. I was instantly delivered from drug addiction, instantly delivered from mental illness, instantly delivered from chronic active hepatitis, instantly delivered from peptic bleeding ulcers. And the Holy Spirit, the only spirit that lives in me now, you can have all those other demons, the only spirit that lives inside me now, and the power and the supernatural anointing began a process of de demons coming out, releasing out of this temple. The only spirit in me now, sir, is the spirit of God. Deuteronomy 18, 10, 12 warns, let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. The Bible explicitly condemns practices such as witchcraft, divination, and other occult activities Christians are called to avoid these practices and those who promote them as they can lead to spiritual deception. Celebrities who engage in occult practices may influence their followers, especially young and impressionable fans. Their lifestyles, beliefs, and practices can subtly or overtly promote values that are contrary to Christian teachings. 1 Corinthians 15.33 says, Do not be misled, bad company corrupts good character. As Christians, we must believe in the reality of spiritual warfare. Following celebrities involved in occult practices can open doors to negative spiritual influences, making it more difficult to stay grounded in the faith. Let us remember that Ephesians 6.12 reminds us, saying, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. A lot of Christians follow these celebrities forgetting that they can become idols in modern culture where people may begin to emulate them or prioritize their teachings over the word of God. This can lead to a form of idolatry where the celebrity's influence takes precedence over God's commandments. Exodus 23 warns, you shall have no other gods before me. We Christians are called to live holy lives set apart for God. Following individuals who are involved in occult practices can compromise spiritual purity and lead to spiritual confusion or bondage. 2 Corinthians 11, 14, 15 says, And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. In conclusion, Doc Christians are called to be discerning and vigilant in their spiritual lives. The Bible offers clear guidance against engaging in or supporting occult practices. Following celebrities who promote such practices can be spiritually dangerous, leading believers away from their faith and into harmful spiritual influences. Christians should focus on Christ and seek to live in a way that honors God rather than being swayed by the allure of celebrity culture. If you enjoy my content and want to stay updated with the latest, don't forget to subscribe. Your support means the world to me. Click that subscribe button and join the community. If you're loving the content, make sure to subscribe and consider becoming a member. As a member, you'll get exclusive benefits, behind the scenes access, and so much more. 
join the community and enjoy all the perks. See you all in my next video.